。过去的夏天，今天我们请到我们采访室的嘉宾是中国男篮的主教练亚历山大·乔尔杰维奇。聊一聊，在过去的夏天，他作为一位新任主教练，和中国男篮在世界杯、亚运会经历的一切。Welcome, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. 我们今天的第一个问题，非常的笼统，那是希望主教练能在最开始的时候来评价一下他经历过的这个夏天，这两场赛事似乎。表现都不太尽如人意。Yes,、uh, for sure, not good results, of course, and、uh, we are very well aware of it. And、uh, when we started to、uh, receive the information about the draw and who we are going to play,、uh, mm -hmm. in the right in that moment for us was very tough. And、uh, what I felt coming into Manila that not. The mental approach was not、oh. uh, the best, in sense of uh, uh, showing your best game face and your body language and mindset、mm. to front this kind of competition. World Cup is such a tough, tough competition, but I have to talk about、uh, a lot of things that has been done before, prior to going to the to the cup and starting from there, because. Players were practicing really hard. They were so professional, uh, uh, respective, receptive,、mm -hmm. uh, and we tried our best、uh, in the in those games. But、uh, until certain level, we could respond it.、Uh, everybody brings responsibility with it, especially head coach. And I'm not running away from it, of course. I'm very unhappy, uh, but uh, we just have to. See what's the next, next,、mm -hmm. next step, next practice, next opponent, next step, fight for next competition to get better. Okay. 呃，主教练用自己经历过的例子能告诉我们，就是现在我们可能差距会比较大。那么在世界杯之前，我们去欧洲打了一些热身赛。那个时候，觉得这支球队的问题都在哪里？在热身赛的时候。Yeah. First of all. We all agreed, and we have to understand that iron sharpens, sharpens iron. Okay. So, as many times you play better opponents, you have to get to his level. And in order to be great for the World Cup and level, you have to play those team and move through those steps and slowly get to that to their、no、level.、No、the、no、only way、no. is go and play against them as much as you can, as many times as you can. If you never front those teams, or you just front those teams once in five, for every four years or six years, it's not enough because you have to adapt your game and understand the level that is needed to play those teams. That's why we went to Europe.、Uh, in Europe, our peak was after seven weeks of preparation, which is ideal number of、uh, days to prepare the team for. FIBA competition because after that your peak, your shape peak comes into a competition wise.、Mm -hmm. uh, I know the here it's you're used to long competitions. Back at the days it was also I'm coming from the school when you're you're just practicing and practicing for a long long time, but it's completely changed. Basketball changed, the rules、uh, and limitations of NBA,、mm. EuroLeague,、mm -hmm. they limit. The days of the practices for their players.、Mm -hmm. So this European tour,、uh, we had some great games against、uh, Cape Verde,、mm -hmm. Egypt, against Slovenia. We lost in last last second、uh, playing over there.、Uh, our second game against Croatia was much better than the first one.、Mm -hmm. Players would respond greatly on video sessions of analysis, and we knew what we wanted to achieve. 您是否对球员的状态感到满意 ？Yes, I understood the the the、uh, lack of experience of one part of the team on the big competition stage.、Mm. Uh, also, even our 
veterans and leaders like Captain Zhou Peng, mm. Ji Wei Rei and Zhao Qian Wang, who were the players who experienced Zhao Peng, not the previous World Cup mm -hmm. because he was injured. No but, but, mm. but, but they know the experience, they know the impact that they were some kind of leaders. Uh, you can never predict uh, their mental approach and their mm -hmm. readiness to fight or if they're uh, uh, mentally ready to accept that 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 challenge and transfer it to the others who may be waiting for the leaders to 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 express their game uh, sometimes these expectations play uh, the biggest enemy role against player itself that you cannot predict I, w I was very happy with the level of, of of practices that we had with how they responded with how they prepared ourselves how we prepared ourselves but obviously we are the example that it is not enough this is not it doesn't assure you to have the great result on the competition itself me personally i don't know how much pressure they feel individually or as a team i i i don't do not perceive that maybe i can get better and better in understanding how mm. much pressure is from the from us from the from the inside from the from china fans from the atmosphere all around but that pressure is something that you must uh, go with it uh, if you play without the pressure it's not it's just like i like to say summertime basketball so there's no pressure so you need oh, yeah. pressure you need the goals you need objective you need a, mm -hmm. to it's different if you play to win or just play mm -hmm. and this is also a work that is um, due to your uh, also cba competition so it's one of my pro pro proposals for the future is to organize china cup in the middle of the comp competition, first eight teams, they oh. play final eight. Mm. If you, you, you lose, you're out. During your seasons, during your maybe careers of Chinese mm. basketball players, a lot of them, they don't play the games, must win. If oh, I okay. lose, I go. So I don't create okay. that urgency of mm. and a need to play in a certain way, play against difficulty take decisions in a certain way and this is something that we right now we don't have 开场我们打得非常好您觉得就是我们做对了什么事情这些事情为什么后来就没有能够延续下去 First of all they are different level Serbia is different level for for us uh, but if I don't believe that we can win against everybody I would not be here this is what I want to transfer to you this security this confidence this perception of really being good, which is a weapon for you. Because sometimes I, I, I don't feel, that I have a feeling that, oh, we, that we know that they are better and we're not, we just stop competing. You no, know, you just keep pounding the rock, keep playing, keep playing. The hardest, every day is, is your opportunity, every day someone is practicing, so you have to practice and you have to do and you have to work and details and contact decision-making situations and being better and trying to Bring them to the team. 塞尔维亚和我们的实力差距确实是比较大。当然，教练员也提到了对阵南苏丹的时候，最后我们也出现了这种情况。但是南苏丹的情况不太相同的是，南苏丹从一开始就下起了三分雨。我们可以看一看跟南苏丹对阵的时候，南苏丹的一些发挥。Unbelievable shooting、uh, game by this guy. I think we can explain. These are our mistakes. We don't help from that side. We don't open that shot like that. But sometimes, like in this case, in the last seconds, they would putting the, the the shots. Our rotations were not there. But again, we opened the game good. We were prepared for something. Nan Sudan 投的这么准是是出乎您和队员预料的呢，还是说呃确实只是执行上我们没有做好 ？It's a very very high percentage of shooting night for South Sudan. It was not all our uh, our uh, mistake it was you have to give credit to the opponent sometimes and say listen mm -hmm. you guys just played better uh, took advantage of this this night and uh, and you made it made it happen he could have been more aggressive in a closeout our mm -hmm. hands and our bodies could have been more into their hips to force them more to take more difficult shots because in uh, the end of the offenses a lot of times our hands were down not on the 
on the block shots and I, I don't believe we were we are so good in blocking the shooter. Their uh, objective reasons and they're also due to opponents but uh, this is the one of the defensive aspect that, that we have to get better. This was the first competition after Yi Jin Lian. Oh, okay. Yi Jin Lian retired. Yi Jin Lian is the last Chinese superior player in, against everybody in the world. His size, he would mm. close everything. Mm. And uh, talking to the players, uh, I know that they, 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 they were missing a okay. player like that and his uh, impact on, on them themselves, on the game itself, but also on them and giving them this security, this confidence that we're, we're good mm -hmm. because we have our best guy, okay, we're good. So uh, one thing is if you have, boom, uh, Yao Ming coming up. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. We worldwide. couldn't imagine that. Here. Worldwide, yeah. yeah. But uh, one thing is that we have to force ourselves to create more players who can play overseas, who can have the quality to go and play in NBA. Why? Mm. With all the respect, your You're guys over here in CBA, mm. you would not need to practice more, to be better, to, to try to stay at the top level. You would, you, it would be enough, Obviously. this little thing yeah. here. Obviously. That's why I say Iron Sharp Rezaia, why ne we need better and better opponents to get better every time we need to play against better to get better. We need to play 对阵菲律宾那场比赛，在中场的休息室里，啊，您知道周琦下半场肯定上不了了。之后，我们有哪些策略来应对这种情况，来分担这些问题和压力 ？Well,、uh, we we couldn't lean on his presence in the paint anymore.、Mm -hmm. We had to resolve the situations of them attacking us on the top with a better closing to the with the next guy. Next guy to the ball handler, and we knew that Clarkson was going to take over. We knew that Clarkson was going to attack us one on one yeah, a lot. Yeah. But in the first three or four actions that Clarkson had were an easy、uh, one on one against Jao Ray. He didn't、mm. pick up high. We didn't have players around. He was just one on one with empty space. 下半场的中国队先发中锋变成了胡金秋，而外线搭档注意是赵睿和崔永新。克拉克森晃开了赵睿，就是这是他的能力。For them, it's easy because that's his way of playing, like in NBA. First score, and he comes into a into a game. 赵睿和朱俊龙，那这就是中国队比较被动的地方。克拉克森。三分命中，中队赶紧叫停，赶紧叫停，十一分分差了。Then one mistake was on the left side. Instead of closing his right hand, which is his dominant hand, that was our biggest impact, and the players had to close his right hand.、Mm -hmm. And so we opened his right hand, sending to the middle, which we don't. We close middle. We send、oh, opposite、yeah. of the middle. We send with his left hand, which he is not that good. Towards the player who was Edu, who was not the shooter, staying in that that corner, and Kyle could have helped more. But mistake was opening the stance. He would just go between the two players. We could have made a bonus foul. 连续换防，对了，崔永熙。These are the things that to the Serbian players you don't need to teach because this is. Defensive weapon, and we worked a lot on that. How to make a smart foul,、mm -hmm. a fouls before bonus. Okay, in 40-minute games, you just have four, not five like in CBA. So you have to be, you have to know how, when to make the foul. And once he had just unbelievable third quarter. We had second timeouts in third quarter. It means that we tried to cut his their tempo. Tempo,、yeah. but it was really, it was really once the players like that come into a zone, it is. So hard to、okay. defend an NBA player that his best quality is scoring.、Oh, yeah. He knows how to score in hundred different ways. That's why I'm saying whatever we prepare and you can prepare tactically, technically. Of course, the players are the ones who find the solutions how to do it. 您对这些球员的使用上场，呃，有些什么样的想法？
，能不能跟我们简单的来交流一下，分享一下 ？And we have some youngs that we proposed, like for example, Tsu Yongshi that is really exceptional talent coming from coming from like 19 years old. Last year I was just watching games. He was averaging just one 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 thing, three points per game. But I said, "Lavel, this is it. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I have to propose. This is what I have to show, selection-wise, what is needed." And my input would be, if I can say just two things, in my opinion, that player Hu Jinchu should have been forced in his younger age to play more position four. Mm. Because his unbelievable great hands, he could have worked more on his uh, quickness yeah, and, 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 and yeah. exactly in position four. But uh, the, the the criticism and uh, and uh, the the evaluation of the of the people outside of our environment, mm. they always see the final thing and the only thing which is a small part of our work, which is just the game. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happens prior to that game, before the game, during the preparation, during the whole period that brings someone to take decisions. So, actually, put your attention to the after-game In looking at the video of the Yaoyun Hui, I have a small question. The coach thinks that the players are ready to prepare for the Philippines. I think that the Philippines game, before the game, we prepared really well, we played really well. They had a great game before Iran, Iran, the night before. But Bromley just exceeded all the expectations there. American player, their import, their passport mm -hmm. player, and uh, and we had good traps uh, against him. Uh, we played also great defense. We had some great runs, great fast break points in the first half. But we started third quarter in the wrong way. Let's see that. Let's yeah. see the video. Cool. Yeah. But the problems in this game came in the third quarter. I think we came in our responsibility towards possessions of the of the of how we. Resolve transition. We just came in one pass and a quick shot, and miss. Doom, doom, just a quick shot. Okay. Doom, just and this is the way not to play the game. You have to play every possession counts. Like it's zero zero. You have to respect the possession. You cannot just oh. throw it right there oh. and give them an an a boost that they believe with the two or three good things they can come back into the game. Exactly what we did. So this is the way of international basketball that is played on a winning level, how to run these moments. You don't just play without responsibility, like uh, a lot of games are played in CBA. You just go up and down, and if it's quick, I take a shot. No, this is not how the game is played, because your players uh, are going to get help. They're going to learn how to play this game, and coaches can get a better way to coach their teams in the right way towards the international basketball, which we all aspire to play. Talking about the Philippines game, we can't go back to the last game. Let's see 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 the last game. Our timeout was to put uh, great ball handlers, verticality player there in bonus, mm -hmm. put a quick four like Kevin on the floor. We knew that they would switch with Kevin with a uh, Hu Jin Chu's player mm -hmm. on our players, then to take advantage to drive like Hu, Hu Ming Shen uh, did 
we work to, with extra pass to find the open open shot. If you ask me, I would opt for the same exact pass. Same oh. players, same pass, same shot. Kevin Jung to shoot it, next time he will make it and he will grow. Mm -hmm. After that, the only mistake Kevin did is that after the shot, he didn't go to make a foul when they get the mm. rebound. Mm. And you can clearly see experienced players like Zhao Rei who would tell him go and make a shot or Ji Wei who goes to make a foul mm. because they are experienced and Kevin was not in this situation a lot more than them, actually not. So he's suffering, Zhao Rei telling him go make a foul and Ji Wei trying to make a foul. Mm -hmm. So those were the inputs that were given to the players. Mm -hmm. 如果我们问一个比较粗暴的问题，就是中国篮球现在和世界篮球的差距有多大，需要花多长时间，我们才能看到真正的质变的话，需要多长时间？And there are some changes in basketball worldwide, some uh, defensive things that we must start implementing into the game as soon as possible in order for Chinese players to get adapted to that. Mm -hmm. Not only national team Chinese players, but all the players to start playing by that rules. And through another one of my fights or inputs or advices to allow more imports to play in China basketball, which I believe there is space for more and good import players to play against Chinese all the time, Mm. We, we, can, we can raise the level of the CBA more and our players can, can get better. Mm. The other thing is to <laughs> unify the work and, uh, in, in a pyramidical way mm. of what is played in the national team to transfer that to the national teams under 19, under 18, under 7 with the rules, with the defensive rules, with the move, ball movement, with the offensive spacing, with the um, uh, with, with the trying to develop the players that the national team needs in a certain way, position for playmakers that need to get developed in a certain way, shooters, uh, position two, ball handlers, pick up players, whatever is needed we have to unify it and also work on that in, in that aspect. And there are a lot of things to be, uh, for example, I see this year refereeing. Mm. Uh, maybe some referees to bring, bring over and do the games with the Chinese referees. If you can give a word to the past summer, you will use a word to describe the past summer. Just one? Just one. Keep pounding the rock. Keep pounding the rock. Yeah. Keep pounding the rock. For the last summer. Yeah, it's, it's for the future. For the last summer. Mm -hmm. ah. Angry. Angry. Okay. 对于过去的夏天，他的怒火能够让他和中国男篮在未来保持继续进步，重新奋起的势头。我们今天的采访告一段落，谢谢乔尔杰的一些。Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Th